Hi, this is Tom. And in this video, I'm going to be going through immune thrombocytopenic purpura. And you can find written notes at zero to finals.com slash thrombocytopenia. And in the hematology section of the second edition of the Zero to Finals Medicine book. And you can find flashcards and questions to train your knowledge at members.zerotofinals.com. So let's jump straight in. Thrombocytopenia describes a low platelet count. Platelets are essential in helping to form blood clots and to stop bleeding. The normal platelet count in the blood is 150 to 450 times 10 to the power of 9 per litre. Immune thrombocytopenic purpura, abbreviated to ITP, is a condition where the immune system produces antibodies against platelets. Antibodies against platelets leads to the destruction of the platelets, causing a low platelet count. It characteristically presents with purpura, which are non-blanching lesions caused by bleeding under the skin. Other names for the same condition include autoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, and primary thrombocytopenic purpura. Let's talk about the pathophysiology. B cells of the immune system produce antibodies. Antibodies are also known as immunoglobulins. Antibodies are designed to recognize antigens on harmful things such as toxins or bacteria and alert the immune system to destroy that thing. Autoantibodies refer to antibodies that target a normal part of the body. Autoantibodies are responsible for many different diseases depending on what part of the body they target. In immune thrombocytopenic purpura, autoantibodies target platelets. These antibodies attach to the platelets in the blood and result in them being destroyed. This leads to a low platelet count, or thrombocytopenia. Let's talk about the presentation. The hallmark feature of ITP is petechiae and purpura, which are red or purple spots on the skin. Petechiae are smaller, less than 3 mm, and purpura are larger from 3 to 10 millimetres. These spots do not blanch, meaning they do not disappear when pressure is applied to them. They're caused by blood leaking from broken capillaries under the skin. They don't tend to occur until the platelet count drops below 20 times 10 to the power of 9 per litre. Let's talk about the other features of thrombocytopenia. Mild thrombocytopenia may be asymptomatic, meaning the patient has no symptoms and it's found incidentally on a full blood count blood test. Platelet counts below 50 times 10 to the power of 9 per litre will result in easy bruising and prolonged bleeding times. This may present with nosebleeds, bleeding gums, heavy periods, hematuria or blood in the urine, or blood in the stools. Platelet counts below 10 times 10 to the power of 9 per litre are at high risk for spontaneous bleeding. Particularly concerning are intracranial hemorrhage, 
or bleeding in and around the brain, and gastrointestinal bleeding, for example, bleeding in the stomach. Finally, let's talk about management. The platelet count needs to be monitored closely. Blood pressure needs to be controlled. A high blood pressure can increase the risk of bleeding. Menstrual periods can be controlled with hormonal contraceptives, for example, the combined contraceptive pill. Treatment options to treat the condition include steroids such as prednisolone to suppress the immune system and reduce the destruction of platelets, an intravenous infusion of immunoglobulins, which are antibodies, and this works by overwhelming and distracting the immune system so there's reduced destruction of platelets, thrombopoietin receptor agonists, which work by stimulating platelet production in the bone marrow, rituximab, which is a monoclonal antibody that targets and destroys B cells, resulting in reduced production of antibodies, and finally splenectomy, which is removal of the spleen. And the spleen is the main site where platelets are destroyed, so removing the spleen helps to reduce the destruction of platelets. Now head over to members.zerodefinals.com to test yourself on how much you understood and remembered from this video. The members site contains illustrated flashcards, multiple choice questions, and short answer questions designed to perfectly complement the Zero to Finals resources. It also features an Anki-like fact trainer tool which you can use to train your knowledge on the key facts you need for your medical exams. You test yourself on the fact, then rate how difficult you found that fact. The site then spaces out your repetitions and tells you when you're due to review it again. Going over the facts with space repetitions helps ensure they stay in your long-term memory. A link to the member site is in the video description.